Right, so they've asked us to do the solid geometry for this question over here. They want us to draw the given views, project a left view, project a right view, and they want you to print some stuff, but the main thing is to do this drawing over here. So, first of all, look at the question over here. I'm um, just going to zoom in there so you can see that question. You've got a pentagon, but it's been drawn at that 30 degree angle. That's very important. The length of the side is 23 millimeters. Right, so let's have a look. They've given us a starting point A over here. Okay, starting point A, and they want you to draw that first length of side over there. Just draw a little line out there, and we know that the side length is 23. If you set your pair of compasses to 23 millimeters, go to point A over there, and you can straight away draw a circle with that radius of 23. Go to the other side of the circle, Draw radius of 23 still. Come down to the bottom over here. Draw a radius of 23, just going around like that. You draw a line going at a perpendicular bisector line, going up through that intersection and that intersection. Once you've got that, you can draw a line which goes from that intersection of those circles through the intersection of the perpendicular bisector and that arc over there and you are then able to find a point up here, which will give you a 72 degree angle for that side of the pentagon. And that length of side is the same as the base length over here, because the radius for that circle is the same as the radius for that circle. Okay, I need to find that side as well. Take a line going from that intersection of those two circles through the same point where the perpendicular bisector goes through the arc over there, and you've got that 72 degree over there for the pentagon side. Once you've got that, your compass, pair of compasses are still set with that 23 millimeter radius. Go up there, arc off. If you've drawn accurately, you'll find that that arc is perfectly on that perpendicular bisector, and you've got a perfect pentagon. Right, this is where it gets complicated for some people. They go, oh dear, I need to find the center of this. Where is that center? Um, the way that I would do it is just come over here. You've got that circle over there. If you come to this side of that little bisecting, uh, that little line, that line, uh, side length, you can draw another circle also with that 23. And by drawing a line going along here, you will have found the center of your, um, your pentagon. You can draw these lines coming from the corners of the pentagon to the center of your pentagon now, and you will then be able to draw your front view using the information from this top view. Right, once I've got that in place, I can now draw lines coming up over here, construction lines coming up from all of these corners. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to label these corners over here. You've got point A over there. I'm going to call that point 1, point 2, point 3, point 4, and point 5. Okay, those points are all going to be along this x, y axis over here. So I've got point 5 over there, point 4 over there, point 3 over there, point 2 over there, and point 1 over there on that x, y axis. The height of this uh, this pentagonal pyramid is, 50, uh, is 45, so I measure off 45 millimeters over here, come over here, and mark off 45 millimeters. Right, look over here, you should have the apex over there, take a line up from the apex, and your 45 millimeter height over there should be at the top of the apex over there. Once you've done that, you then need to have a look and see I've got an edge over here going from 0.5 to the apex, which I'm going to call zero. There's zero as the apex. I also have this side over here um, going from there down to two. Those are obviously edges. They have to be in the drawing. They need to be drawn as dark lines. Then you'll see they've got some hidden detail over there. They sometimes give these questions where they will give you an incomplete um, pyramid 
and you would need to decide as to what lines need to be done as hidden detail and what lines need to be done as dark. If you place yourself in the picture over here, you are standing over here, you're looking across at this thing. The first line that you see is this line one zero over there. So that line needs to be done as a dark line. Right? Um, if you look over here, three zero is behind this thing. That needs to be then done in hidden detail. And five zero needs to be done I mean, 4-0 also needs to be done as hidden detail because it's behind the object. Right, once I've got that in place, I now need to draw the left view and the right view. All right, I do not want you to use those 45-degree lines. If I see that you're using them, I'm actually going to take some marks off. I want you to use your pair of dividers. Take the points. I'm going to start with point one over here. There's the distance from point one to the x, y axis. Take that distance, to find point one, take it across the new x, y axis, place it on the drawing, and mark it off as point one over there. Same distance from the x, y axis, find point one, take it across to the new x, y axis, and label that as point one over there. Go to point two. There is point two. Go up to point two, take it across, mark it off, and label it as point two. Same story, there's point two, take it across to the new xy axis. Distance from the xy axis is always the same. Point three, point three is closest to the xy axis, take it across to the new xy axis over here. There's point three, it is still closest to the xy axis. Point three, close to the xy axis, point three, close to the xy axis. If you look at it, point one, furthest from the xy axis, point one is still furthest from the xy axis, point one is still furthest from the xy axis, point three, closest to the xy axis, there it is, closest to the xy axis, there it is, closest to the xy axis. Point four, there we go, that distance over there, find point four, label it as point four, take it across here, Label it as 0.4. Um, point, uh, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4. I just need to find 5. There's 5 over there. Take it across. I know it takes a little bit extra time, but you're going to thank me later, I'm sure, when you get to more complicated drawings. There's 5. Mark it off. There's 5. Okay, and the last point that I need is to get this point for the apex, there's the apex over there. That's often left out. Find your apex, go across, label your apex at the top there as point zero. Same story on this side. Apex, note the apex distance there. It's the same as the apex distance there. It's the same as the apex distance there. Right, once we've got that, um, what happens is that you guys just start drawing some lines. Uh, I'm going to draw these edge lines Obviously, the ones that are right on the outside, those need to be done in dark. So I can do that. There's three and zero and one and zero. And on this drawing, three and zero and one and zero, they are being done in dark. And then we come to the part where you need to decide what lines need to be done in hidden detail, what lines need to be done in dark. Place yourself in the picture. This over here is my left view. Place yourself on the left-hand side of the drawing. What am I seeing first? I'm seeing line five zero. So line five zero in this will be done as a dark line. Right? In this, um, what is right at the back over here? It is two zero. Two zero needs to be done as hidden detail. You can see that it's right at the back. If you're standing over here, can I see four zero? Four zero, if I'm standing over here, you can, you can see that I'd be able to touch that. So four zero over here would be done as a dark line. All right. Um, place yourself on the other side of this drawing. There I am. I'm looking from the right hand side now. What line is in front of me? It is two zero. So I can now draw in two zero as a dark line. Standing over here, you can see that I 
cannot see five zero at the back there. So do five zero as a hidden detail line. Uh, three zero is basically right in front of me. You can see that. Four zero is behind three zero. If I'm standing over here, four zero is behind three zero. So four zero is going to be hidden detail. Always place yourself in the picture. Try to figure out what it is that's in front of you. Draw that in dark and then try and figure out what lines are going to be done as dark, what lines are going to be done as hidden detail.